Increasing planetary temperatures resulting from our greenhouse gas emissions have led people to be concerned about the fate of our future food supply. And in response to this uh, threat posed by climate change, people have proposed these radical ideas of reflecting additional sunlight away from the Earth in order to counteract the effect of these greenhouse gases. But it had been proposed uh, or suggested that if this were, were done, it would threaten the food supply for billions of people. And so Julia Pongratz, working in my group, led a very nice study where we ran two different climate models and then used the same kinds of crop models that are used for projecting the effects of climate change on crop productivity to see how would these geoengineering schemes affect crop productivity. And in two different climate models, the result was that, uh, in the models at least, the crop productivity increased. And this is largely because uh, under a high CO2 warm world, the crops are, are increasingly stressed by high temperatures. And in the model uh, with the geoengineering, uh, there, there's cooling and this releases the thermal stresses on the plants, but you still get the CO2 fertilization effect. Now, this result might not hold re regionally. You could imagine that there would be certain regions that would have uh, reduced crop yields, and these are climate models which are simplifications of the real world, and so real world results might differ from these model results, so it would be premature to act on these, but at least the initial evidence seems to be that uh, geoengineering proposals would seem more likely to increase rather than decrease crop yields on a global basis.